pleasure to present the Woman of the Year Window to the World Award to Anne Cotton. Thank you. Well, Women of the Year, it's an extraordinary honour to be here today and to be honoured by you, women who've struggled and succeeded against the odds. I also want to honour all my colleagues across the world. In, in Africa, Penina, and Dolores, and Angeline and Barbara, and here with us today, Lucy Lake, who's been on this journey with me the whole way. And I want to dedicate this honour to the girls of Africa, and is, it is to them to whom I wish to speak. You are the poorest group in the world today. You have the least access to healthcare. You are the most likely to die before your fifth birthday. You are your mother's helpmate and start your domestic work at the age of four. And you have least access to education. But listen to what the powerful in the world are saying about you. You hold the key. You hold the key to health, to child mortality, and bringing that appalling rate down. You hold the key to population, because when you are educated, you can make the choice, and the choice that is right for you, and the choice that is right for your communities, your nations, and the rest of the world. And your education has a powerful antidote effect to HIV AIDS. With education, you are much less likely to be infected. And so, Women of the Year have joined with the powerful, with Ban Ki-moon, with Lauren Summers, with Jean Sperling, with Amartya Sen, and yes, with our Prime Minister, Gordon Brown. And so we stand alongside you, knowing that you cannot do it alone, that you cannot unlock the door to education, that your parents simply do not have the means. But take heart from the words of a girl that I met back in 1991, Ranyararo Machingaidzi, who said to me, if only I get the chance, I will do something great. Dr. Man Machingaidzi now, Ranyararo is a leading pediatrician in Namibia, a role model and a leader and she has joined the network of 9,500 CAMA members, alumni all supported through their education by CAMFED, who are leading change on the continent of Africa. In 2007 alone, they supported the education through their own philanthropy of 47,360 children. And let me close with the words of a girl that I have come to know very well, Cindy Chaba in Zambia. Now 15 years of age, what she said to me was, I am an orphan, but it is not the end of the world. I am not downhearted. I have seen many things, but I have great determination. Cindy wants to be Zambia's Chief Justice. And I hope that through this symbol of the Eagle of Women of the Year, Cindy, like so many other girls in Africa, will, like you, soar. Thank you so much.